Hi everybody, it's Lena and Titch from IamHandmade.com And what are we making, Titchy? Soap. Very good, what soap though? Breezes and Squunshine. Squunshine. <laughs> What's in here? Uh, oats. <laughs> Milks. Oh, the milks. Oh, yeah. um, goat's milk, butter, milk, yogurt powder. Yep. Colloidal oatmeal. Yes. Uh, Coconut milk. Yeah. I think that's it. Oh, clay. Oh, yeah. Nice white clay. So. All that in there. Oh, do you know where my soap and cloth went? My yellow cloth. In the wash. Yeah, so I kind of need that. What do you use it for? Wiping out everything. It's such a useful cloth, actually. It's for washing up, like, so. I think Malky um, got some of those. Your microfiber cloths, actually. Hold on. Go and talk for a minute, yeah, he did. Um, uh, it's been waning all day outside. All day. Look at, look guys, I'll show you, right? <laughs> look. I'll show you the table. You see the drop See, it's raining. Yeah. And it's been raining all day. Non-stop, really bad. Especially when you think that I went inside just because I was getting too burnt. I know, it keeps changing. It's ridiculous. Well, could you were or you're getting a bit of pink. Yeah, it's not burnty, burnty, burnty. Everything mixed in, mixed in now. This now is the lime. lime water, which is still quite warm. Oh, the big exciting! I hope it's not exciting. <laughs> Soap making is exciting. For me. Not if it goes minkle. But that's part of the fun. Now, let me just rinse that out. Will I tell the people who I am photographing tomorrow? What? I will be photographing Jordan Belfort. And to those who don't know who he is, and who I wouldn't have known, he is the real wolf of Wall Street. There's a film He's not a real Cambridge. wolf. No. But... Sorry. There was a film made recently enough which came out in Irish cinemas. Sorry, I'll let you finish the sentence. <laughs> this is slower to trace because the lie was warmer. Anyway, um, the film came out and probably was out in America a good while back um, called The Wolf of Wall Street, which has Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill starring in it. And it's based on a guy. Now, I don't know the whole thing in the film, but I'm assuming he's a capitalist anyway. Um, this Jordan, yeah, this Jordan Belfort guy, but he's given a talk tomorrow in Dublin. And I shall be at the press call for it, so a little bit excited. Another person to photograph. And I am thinking, give you guys a heads up, I am thinking of doing a giveaway on my photography page. <gasps> Ooh! Yeah, um, of a print of Channing Tatum. Um, because he seemed to gather a lot of attention. He seems to have a lot of fans because he's so lovely. Because so he's hot. He is. Is. So I may do a giveaway, just a print off framed random. Um, but and what's your Facebook page so do. they can check it out? Uh, it's not that hard. Jer Holland Photography or Facebook.com forward slash Jer Holland Photography. Well, what if they don't know how to spell Jer Holland? Because okay. I don't know in America would that be like a regular okay. girl. It's name. G for giraffe, E for elephant, R for rhino, H for hippopotamus, 
O for octopus, L for lemon, L for lemon again. Leopard. Leopard, yeah, I can't Keep with the animal theme. Oh A my God, for fecking things. <laughs> A for antelope, N for. Hmm. N for. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what N would be. N for. Nothing. D, <laughs> D for dog and photography. Um, so yeah, you'll probably find a link through Celine's page anyway at Soperstar because I do the pictures for her and she's the links up there. So yeah. I but I may do that. I still haven't decided how I'll do the giveaway or what the rules will be, but yeah. It's a thought in my head. And it'll probably be in order to get more likes on my page, but <laughs> Yeah, we shall see. So are you excited about that? Yeah. Are you going to enter? Um, no. <laughs> That's got a funny colour. Doesn't look like yellow. It looks like custard. However, it could be like that yellow the other day. And it's if it's not, it's still going to be cool. It's like a sunset yellow. Yeah. Um, yeah, you'd only enter if it was Daniel Craig or something. Ooh. Well, would, 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 you be, would you be jealous if I got to photograph him? No. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. That's lovely. It shows you how strong that colour is because I didn't really need to drop it. Okay. Now I just want to get a little. Water. Just so I can wash this out. And then we're ready for the next batch. Really quickly, you see. Yeah. And why are we trying to speed this up? Um, because it gets dark early. No. Because. I have better things to be doing. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I oh don't. Oh my I god, don't. how rude. I don't. That's the point. Um, it's all things that aren't. No, because um, Malachi, he does tiny. He builds, he's building, he's built a tiny pub in a tiny house. We should do, when he's finished, he'd rather when it was finished. Um, but it's really cool. It's, it, wait now, what is it? One twelfth? Um, no, one forty. One forty. Yeah, of an inch yes um, scale scale but it's really cool so yes he does this he does that in the evenings during the week and we're in his space yes we're in his space and time but this is a necessity too because we haven't done it in quite a while and we're out of stock well see i also because this is not being cured till the 7th of july and given that's very close to holidays yeah. i want to try and get as much stock in as possible True. Um, so that over the holidays in August that there's actually you know stuff to buy pre-order or exactly. order and that when we come back the end of August beginning of September we'll have lovely colours we'll have everything all cured and ready to be sent out so talking about holidays from the 20, I think from the 26th of July, um, the store will be open, but, and you can order, that's no problem, but nothing will be posted out until the 1st of September, which is, coincidentally, my birthday. And there's something kind of cool about sending out loads of things on my birthday, <laughs> kind of reverse birthday gifts. But you can't let it go into your your like surprise party time. Oops, for your fiftieth that night. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Titchy, explain how you've just been so horrid to me. 
Because really, she's only 49. <laughs> Chi Chi! <laughs> what age is it? Oh, uh, 46? No, 49. 47? Mm. Oh, I'm only 23. <laughs> you wouldn't think it. <gasps> Shut up! Sometimes you're like 3 and sometimes you're like 53. Oh no. And I can never decide which is worse. <laughs> Well, I can tell you, sometimes you're pretty like a three-year-old too. Yeah, yes. Not in a good way. <laughs> Don't poo my pants. No, but you'll be a bit spoiled. I am so <laughs> not a spoiled person. <laughs> do you think I'm spoiled? No, but you like it in your own way. Of course I do. Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't it? But we're both lovely people at the end of the day, really. Oh, and we have to do a shout-out. We do. Who too? Um, Savannah. Very good. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce her surname. I couldn't remember the surname when you told me about her. Um, yeah, I would Savannah, pronounce it Fage, but it could be pronounced differently. Spelled F-A-G-E. And her mum, uh, who I think is Melinda, but I could be entirely wrong. I hope I'm you right. You should have researched this. I know, I just thought of it now again. Um, um, said that herself and Savannah are huge fans and that they sit and watch all the videos together. And apparently Savannah has two uh, video game characters, one called Slim and one called Titch, which I thought was the That's most so hilarious cool. thing That's brilliant. ever. So. That's so cool. It's like we're living that. in an alternate world. <laughs> well, it often feels like we're living in an alternate world. That's so cool. So just for that, I said, oh, we have to do a, a shout out. So. That's pretty cool. To Savannah. I think they're superb choices of names. Absolutely, especially Titch. Titch is epic. Celine, pretty regular. <laughs> <laughs> so, hello. It's not wave, that many. There's wave at the camera. Wave at the camera. Ooh. My big soapy, gooby hands. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's that many Celines now. It's hardly like, you know, an everyday name, is it? Well, Titch is hardly an everyday name either, is it? Not that it's my real name, but still. It's, it's, it's what my nickname. You don't have a real name. No, I'm nameless. Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You're called Hey You and Oi and Tingy. Bee face. <laughs> no. Titchy, don't be rude. <laughs> Smells so good. Mm. I really hope that, it, although the orange and greeny blue colour is nice, I kind of do hope it goes back to yellow. I was going to say, it reminds me of Chai Lime and Mango. And I'm like, no, is that yesterday? I was thinking, no, it's going to be blue and yellow, not green. Yeah. And orange. yeah, the colours have gone a bit phony. Which is weird, because the colours are meant to be like blue and yellow, but anyway. Well, the other yellow I had did go back to yellow, which went, yeah. um, it went uh, very, very orange initially, but the next day it had gone back to yellow, so I'm pretty much expecting this to do the same. Now, in. keep it nice and fluid. Beauty of wearing gloves. Mm -hmm. Now, will I do a, a swirl inside of it? You said you forgot from the last few, so if I should. Oh, no, it's a drop swirl, really, otherwise. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, why not? Whatever. So what's the answer? Mm, no. No, don't do a swirl. Yeah. Yes, do a swirl. No. Don't do a swirl. Leave oh, it okay. You can puzzle with me. <laughs> we didn't tell them the big, big news. What's the big, big news? Apparently, Kim Kardashian is in Cork. 
which is about, I looked up Google Maps. Which is actually where we're going for the weekend too. It is, although it's an hour and 50 away from where they're supposedly staying where we're going. Um, but yeah, it's about an, an two hours and a bit, I think, to where they're apparently staying on their honeymoon. But it's all rumours. Apparently a jet flew into Cork Airport and loads of blacked out cars like drove away but there's actually been no sighting of them but it's rumoured it's them so it's a bit nuts it's like I didn't expect them to come here especially not somebody said on E! News or one of those that her mother um, honeymooned here no it was they had planned to honeymoon here in Casa Leslie in Monaghan yeah but they changed to Bali at the last minute no that wasn't a honeymoon no that was a holiday Oh, okay. Like a fam one of the family holidays. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think Courtney was pregnant. Yeah, we watch a lot of Kardashians before anybody come out. Yeah. Courtney was pregnant and apparently couldn't make up her mind where she wanted to go. And first she wanted to go to Ireland, then she wanted to go to Bali. And to be honest, good choice. <laughs> but like to her, she doesn't know Ireland. Like we no, kind of but live here. It's different when you live here. I saw the program where they went to Bali and bloody hell, good choice. <laughs> I'm putting more in this uh, one because the other one is pretty full already. Now, swirl, no swirl. No. Okay. Well, it is a swirl. Yeah. Oh, it's getting very warm in here. It is very warm in here. <sighs> The sun is shining, but it's just like it was raining with the stop now. Michael Bolton's in town tonight. Wow. And tomorrow night. Is he on Bolton Street? No one's going to get that joke. <laughs> Explain it. There's a street in Dublin called Bolton Street. There you go. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. Nice plenty of kids. He looks sort of well for his age. He's like 60 something. Yeah. He was here lately enough. I don't know where he's back again. Is he still going out with your woman? Who was he going out with? Nicholas Sheridan. No, they broke up, I thought. They? Yeah, they broke up a while ago. Like during the whole Desperate Housewives saga or era, they broke up. Do you know what I heard of my friend Gronia over the weekend? Apparently they're bringing back another Lost or version of it. Really? Yeah. It's like, oh my god. I like probably the same characters? Or I don't know. Or some, some sort I don't know, maybe a different story. But Lost-esque. Like oh man. That was nuts. You only got in towards the end. Huh? You only got into it towards me? the end, didn't you? No, I watched it from the beginning. Did we? Did we yeah. used to watch it together and you no. asked me questions or something. But I didn't live here at the time. No, I know. Yeah. But on Facebook or... Uh, maybe, yeah. Um, no, I used to watch it all the time. I missed, I think, two episodes overall. Um, but... You missed oh. nothing. I'm going to do a swirl. Oh, jeez. She never listens to me. Yeah, I do, but then I ignore you. That shine hole. Oh. Now, this is why you need the cloth. You see? You're clever. Rather. That's for me. Bring this one. I'm going to ask our followers a question. Go on. And it's so unsoap related, but I had to get Go in on. there somewhere. Do any of our followers live in New Jersey? And if so, have you ever seen Bruce Springsteen? Ooh. <laughs> and if you have, can you send the photos too? <laughs> now, I want to I go there and see all the sites. He writes about all different places in the songs, like Kingsley and Asbury Park. And Atlantic City, is that, is that in New Jersey? Is, yeah. Um, 
Nog grotere van prijs als een man maakt. Een man maakt. Um, ja, yeah, I really want to go there. I don't know if it's the prettiest station. Like, now, some pictures, it doesn't look the best, but at the same time, I want to go see it. Bang this a lot because when you do the swirl, you introduce air into it. You don't want a whole lot of air bubbles coming out of it. So. And a soapy question, which probably would be in an FAQ. Yeah. Um, when you bang it out, the swirl isn't affected inside? Uh, not really, no. I mean, you, you can't really be 100% sure. Mm. But it always looks like a swirl when it comes out anyway, as if it hasn't been affected. So, oh, curious if it ever just flattened out because you've done that. But uh, it never has by looking at it when we cut it. But I don't think so, but like I say, how can you tell? Because it's already done the thing. Yeah. Okay, so... For any of our UK fans, I'm gutted. There was a great series on. Um, series. Series on um, a Welsh crime kind of noir uh, version of the Swedish crime programs that were on, like the Bridge and Bollander. Um, it was called Hinterland and it was on the last few Mondays, but it finished up last Monday and it was incredible. I loved it. Though the accent was a bit hard to grasp at times because it was Welsh. Um, oh, but it was so good. Defended a ton of Welsh people there, by the way. No, I haven't. They probably, some people probably find us incredibly hard to understand, especially me because I talk a million miles an hour. I find you probably good. insult Australians and Americans with your accents. <laughs> you try and mimic them. I'm just saying, sometimes I find you hard to understand. But you know, I'm willing to learn. <laughs> You're amazing. I touch. am. Amazing. But yes, Hinterland was amazing, and I really hope they make a second series. So. Mm -hmm. If anyone saw it, curious as well if he enjoyed it. It was very good. I didn't like it. Did you not? You probably watched it. Very, yeah, because it was so slow and grey. And well, that's what the Swedish ones yeah, were well, like. It was so like them, dark. Either. You and Dad liked them. Both. Yeah, oh, they were good. Yeah. She sits up with her, her honorary granddad and watches them together. We got confused uh, two weeks ago because the three main suspects in it all had beards and they looked pretty much identical. And it was a small town, so they all kind of owned different things and all knew each other. And it was like, oh, which one's that again now? And who is he? Got very confused. So we're trying to figure it all out. It's rather funny. And saying that, I will say they made Wales look beautiful. The scenery was incredible. Really gorgeous. Oh, we've driven through Wales before. It was, it's very like Ireland, I mm, think. I sadly haven't now. Um, but there's a great ad on here uh, for one of the tourist boards, I'm assuming. I think it's Discover Wales or something. And oh, it's great. They've like a Welsh song on the background or someone singing in Welsh. Um, and it shows like someone biking through a forest and different things. It looks gorgeous. Makes you want to go to Wales. Mm. So yeah, even though I'm talking, we are at, well, cleanly talking. Yeah. And there we go. This is that breezes. Is breezes and sunshine. And I hope you like it. Oh, look at that. Oh. The sun is shining and a bit of glitter and there's like the, as if in a photo, Stars. there's lines <laughs> coming off it. <laughs> I move it? No, it wasn't on it now. I've moved away from it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, so uh, this should be cured on the 7th of July and we'll put up a um, cutting video in a couple of days and we're off to make another soap. Ta-ra and bye! -a. bye -a.